Vulture is an international cloud computing company that offers multiple online business solutions, including personalized cloud PCs. They provide various different virtualized setups, including GPU cloud PCs all over the world. Are you looking to get started with Vulture? Let's dive in. Now, Vulture has a number of different cloud computing solutions for various needs. They have 30 data centers around the globe. Now, for our needs, we'll be using the cloud GPU services. Now, be aware that not every location has GPU machines available. At this point in time, Vulture uses three different multiple instances of Ampere GPUs. The A100 is built for AI, but can be compared to an RTX 3080 when used by one user. The A40 is more suited for the average gamer, as it can be compared to an A4000 used by a single user, which can suit most needs. The A16 is a newer, lower-end GPU of the bunch. Now, if you sort server locations that support GPUs, you'll find that there are not as many suitable locations. We'll choose the A40 as an example, since I see it becoming the most popular. Once you switch the button to sort, it ends up only being nine locations, but these locations do cover most of the world, including India, Japan, and Australia, with more locations coming for all GPUs. Vulture also has a network latency test, so you can check just how far and or efficient your latency will be, depending on what location you decide to create your server at. Feel free to try this out to see if any of these locations will perform admirably for you. To get started, you do need to create an account to start using their product portal. Use the sign up link in the description to receive $100 in credit. That's right, $100 to start up with. This will be available for a limited time only. Also be aware that you need to link a credit card or a PayPal account and spend $35 to get the $100 in credit. Once you have completed the account creation, you'll be able to log in. Be aware that you might have to finish your profile settings before you can deploy servers. Once everything is complete, you can start making your machine. Go to the product tab, and here you can start the creation process by hitting the plus button or hitting the deploy server button. To start with, choose the cloud PC option. From here, you'll be able to choose the GPU you want for your cloud PC. The location availability will depend on what GPU you choose. And as of now, the A40 has the most availability. Once you choose your location, you can choose what operating system you want as well. This includes all different types of Linux OS's, including an OS built directly for Steam. They also offer a couple of versions of Windows Server. Now please note that the Windows price is for the full month. This license is divvied up within the hourly price. You don't pay this full amount out the gate, so no worries. Now you'll be able to choose your server configuration. These are preset configurations for the GPU you choose. Don't let that monthly price fool you now. I recommend the first option for playing most games. Remember these are server GPUs. One sixth of a full A40 should fit most of your needs. Feel free to choose other configurations. I'll be testing most of them in future videos. Backups won't be necessary along with many of these other features, but you're willing to purchase them if you want. Your monthly summary or hourly charge will be at the bottom. More on this later. Enter a server host name and label and hit deploy now once your configuration is complete. Your new server will show up under the products list. It may take a few minutes for that machine to get started up. Now it's time to connect to that machine. One of the best ways to play is using Parsec. If you don't have Parsec installed on your local machine, go to parsec.app, download it, and install it. Set up your account and verify your machine. Once that is set up, or if you already have Parsec, go into the overview of your newly created machine. Here you will find the overall machine stats and connection credentials. Vulture makes it easy to connect to your machine through the browser with their console window. Here you can see Windows starting up on your machine. Once Windows has loaded completely, feel free to download and install Parsec and verify this machine as well. Side note, if the Vulture browser console window doesn't seem to work for you, you can always connect through remote desktop to set up Parsec here. Once Parsec is set up, close your console window or remote desktop and connect to your Vulture machine through your local Parsec app. Now, if you're new to Parsec, I recommend reading up on how to use it. Keep your Vulture PC connection password handy and make sure to use the Parsec menu to send Control Alt Delete to enter the password to gain access. Make sure you set the correct resolution and bandwidth limit in Parsec and you should be good to go. Also, if you plan to use a controller, you'll need to install the drivers for it. If you're using any Xbox controller, here's the driver location for it. I have the link in the description. Make sure to install and restart your system for this to be applied. Once you are done using your machine, disconnect from Parsec and use the server stop button to stop your machine. A couple of things to note on your Vulture servers. Your hourly charges will incur no matter if your machine is on or off. So stopping your machine might not matter. 
Now to avoid these costs, I recommend destroying your machine after a certain amount of time. Also, there's a bandwidth limitation on your account of 2 terabytes a month. If you go above this, additional charges will incur. Overall, Vulture is a solid international cloud platform. I will have a ton of videos showcasing many of the configurations they offer and how well various games play on the platform. They also have the H100 coming soon, which is an Ada Lovelace GPU. Remember to use our link to get $100 of credit, but you do need to link a credit card or a PayPal account and spend $35 to get the extra $100. If you like this getting started video of Vulture, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight. With Vulture, it looks like we're flying in the clouds.